So I got a nice story. Wait, hang on a second. Dr. Freedom just walked. Hey, Dr. Freedom, you want to take this story here? I, I think I think it would benefit you a lot more. Yeah, he's he shaking his head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's about Brianna Wu. Oh, he's coming over here. All right, all right. This one's yours, Dr. Freedom. So, we're discussing game developer Brianna Wu, who is officially running for Congress. What? What? <sighs> Wait, what? So a lot of gamers are upset at this, but a lot of you probably don't know who Brianna Wu is, so let me go ahead and give you the scoop. When the whole Gamergate fiasco was rolling around, that was about uh, journalists being corrupt, being paid off, or offered sexual favors, or, you know, coerced into giving better review scores, that was essentially Gamergate. You can dislike Gamergate, but that was essentially what the initial incident was about, and Brianna Wu was one of these individuals who rose out out of that and Brianna Wu came out of it as one of the most prominent and memorable figures who was caught logged into her own Steam account as a developer attempting to harass herself. Yes, folks, this is a real thing. This happened quite some time ago, and not everyone understands or remembers everything that involved it. Oh, but some people do, and I do. So Brianna Wu is running for Congress because basically Donald Trump was elected president, and that she has to join the Democratic Party to combat this, and that she has great respect for Democratic Party candidates that were Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. Now, a lot of gamers are flipping their shit. They're saying, oh my god, Brianna Wu is gonna be on Congress. She's gonna shut our games down. She's gonna enforce feminist way of life. Listen, I'm not a white knight. I'm not at all wanting to defend Brianna Wu on any, any of this. Not at all. Usually, I take the piss out of these people usually i destroy them on my channel that's what i do it's easy you, you can see their arguments they're beyond flawed it's ridiculous and young people need educated about that shit man instead of led like sheep to a slaughter by these sjw's by these feminists for me personally i just say let her be in congress and do you know why do you know why you might be saying you're so wow you lost your mind they've really got to you didn't they no no because once she gets in congress once congress see the type of people that brianna Wu is because i i don't want to generalize here but you know the types everyone knows the types the anita sarkeesians of the world the brianna Wu's, the five guys burgers and fries everyone knows and this individual when they get into congress and they're around respected congress members who have degrees in politics degrees in law and they have some random game developer up there with no government experience at all saying we need legislation for video games <sighs> What are you expecting is going to happen? That she passed some ridiculous legislation? There have been other people who've come and rose way more prominent than Brianna Wu, like Jack Thompson. Again, I'm not defending Brianna Wu. I promise you I'm not. But I think ultimately we're in a win-win situation. If we uh, lose and she gets elected to Congress, well, they're going to see her as pretty much batshit crazy. That's what a lot of other people see her as. And her legislation pushes will fail because they're going to see her as she is or she's not going to be elected to congress and we win anyways because we don't have someone who's like that in congress so it looks like a win-win situation to me and either way it really don't matter so ladies and gentlemen what are your thoughts and opinions on this leave your questions concerns and comments in the section below this is brown mario's channel so i guess uh good gaming and god bless